Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I'm going to start prepping all the stuff for my leftover turkey gumbo. It's smoky in here. Uh, yeah, so if you guys see the smoke, it's not a fire. No, we, uh, yeah. I haven't, Clint got turkey, turkey juice, juice on the bottom. The so here's all the turkey, uh, all the white meats down below. Sorry, I was at a flat frame. So, uh, that's I, what came off that huge turkey. turkey. Is that going to be enough? I don't for your know. Gumbo? I think it will. I, think I, I make my, my gumbo's like, I don't know, six gallons or something. And we, then I freeze we it. Thought, so. We've had people ask about it. So. Yeah. So, uh, and I don't have a bowl because, yeah, things. Uh, I'm sitting down. For those of you who are new, I'm disabled. I have to sit whenever I. Uh oh, I have to sit when I do stuff. I can't stand so. I got uh, eight bell peppers. Just so you, for your information, uh, this is a female. Just pay attention to your. I got it, and I've had forgot. Your, um, yeah. When I when I was picking these, uh, this is a fe this is the female, and this is the male, and I have transposed which one was which i was thinking the male was the four lobe one and the female was the three well the females are sweeter and i had made gumbo one year and i had got all females or yeah all females and it was so sweet you wouldn't even with hot sauce it was still really sweet so um i've got my garbage bowl over here this is don't really have a lot of room to do this but we'll get it figured out i mean there we go there we go let's do it that way so yeah i'm just there's a lot of different ways to chop i just do it this way so and actually i'm just gonna put my garbage right there so, and when you cut that, when you just cut it that way, just pop your, um, your thing off from the, the head. So, I'll probably do a lot of them before I chop it just because, um, with the garbage bowl right here, make sure that I have... Um, plenty of room. And then I just pull out the lines, the seeds.
Okay, guys, here's all my uh, bell peppers, onions, or yellow onions, green onions, and my celery. Celery, celery. It's going to be a long day. Uh, I'm going to do the parsley tomorrow. I'm really getting wore out, so I decided it's best just to take a break. So, this is this. Now we're going to bring out. So, just wanted to show it to you. Five things of turkey smoked sausage because we don't eat much beef. You could totally use the other. Oh yeah, you can use whatever you want to. This is just the way we do it. Almost ready to start actually cooking. Woohoo! And I get to set out the stove for another. It's a long process, but Clint loves it. So. Once I get the roux made, it's not as bad. I gotta sit in my chair and watch the roux when I'm done. Until it's time for the vegetables. And Okay, guys, uh, time to do the roux. I've got everything chopped, set aside. This is uh, two cups of bacon grease. Uh, I save it just for this. Actually, I cook eggs in it, too. Uh, but, yeah, don't tell my doctor. I didn't tell her I ate bacon. But, uh, I got to nuke it just for a, a few seconds to loosen it out of the bottle. I'll take a knife to get it out. Yeah, it, uh, it does take a little bit of time to do. She had bought me a 
my own little chair years ago just so I could do things like that. And I use it a lot. Okay, I'm going to turn it down to about a four. And I should have got a spoon rest. And this is a half. So this is a half measure crepper. Okay, guys. Oh, and you know what? I still got it on the stove, didn't I? Just a little bit. It really incorporated really good. I did turn the burner down to about four, so get all of it really mixed in well. Got to be careful and make sure and be diligent not to burn it. So. Because if you ruin it, burn it, then you've ruined your roux and you have to start over. Luckily, like I said, I do have extra baking grease, but I'd rather not have to keep doing it. Okay, let's get that off the fire. Nothing. Put that there. Okay. No, it's not. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Well, till the till the um, um, so you cook this in here until the. Uh, peppers are translucent. Now, I have a hard time with, so I've got a better, we don't have any spoon big enough to do this when it's full, so, and I have to stand on my chair, so. So, funny story about this pot. We needed a large pot, so we went to Walmart years ago when we first got married. Like 20-some years ago. Yeah, and bought this pot. Well, in the store, we were thinking, oh, it's going to be too small. But when we got home... We didn't realize how big it was. Huge. I can't even stir it because I'm so short. But, yeah, so it smells so good in here, though, when you put that. Oh, I love that smell. So then that just cooks for about... Well, till the onions are translucent, so. Yeah.
Okay guys, sorry, but we ended up losing some of the footage. So now you will add your broth, which was right at a gallon of broth. Um, water, which is probably a little over a gallon. You want to add enough to cover. And then you're going to add a cup of Frank's Red Hot sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and about a quarter cup of chopped garlic. And you're going to cook that down probably four to five hours. And we're going to show you what that looks like here. Look at all that bacon grease. Yuck. Just kidding. Adds flavor. Look how much it's cooked down. Can you guys tell? Yeah, it's down below the second bolt. So. Sorry, there's no light in here, and Clint's blocking the other light. I ain't either. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's, it's me. It's you, dear. Not it's me. me. Never mind. <laughs> so that's what it looks like when it's done. Again, I will put a uh, recipe in the description box, and I'll put it so it's. Yeah, I'll put it the way Clint does it, and then I'll put it the way it's it was originally intended. How's that? Yep. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So good. That's what he's going to have for dinner. I'm going to have the rest of my chicken and noodle or chicken dumpling soup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you give this a try. If you do, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for visiting. Tut zines.